Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Mardana Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss exercise 15.2, question number 25 from Thomas Calcus 12th edition book. The statement of problem is integrate F over the given region. Our region is quadrilateral, which is in first quadrant bounded by the lines y equal to x, y equal to 2x, x equal to 1, x equal to 2. And we will integrate this function f of x, y is equal to x over y over this region. So first of all, y equal to x is a straight line which passes through the points. Uh, you can see I have selected three ordered pairs. You can select many more like this. In this line, if you put in this equation, if you put x equal to 0, you will get y equal to 0. If you put x equal to 1, you will get y equal to 1. If you put x equal to 2, you will get y equal to 2. Similarly, we can get ordered pairs for the other line, y is equal to 2x. If you put x equal to 0, you will get y equal to 0. If you put x equal to 1, you will get y equal to 2. If you put x equal to 2, you will get y equal to 4 in this line. By joining these ordered pairs in xy plane, you can plot these particular lines x equal to 1, x equal to 2 are the vertical lines. So I have plotted these lines in our xy plane. Please note that I have used the dotted coordinate axis as x coordinate and y coordinates. I have make x axis with dotted lines and y axis with dotted lines so that you will not get confused with the other boundaries x axis and y axis are not involved in our boundaries. These are just reference lines in our question. Now I'm going to explain these lines. This red line, which passes through x equal to 1, is for equation x equal to 1. This line is of blue color, is for boundary x equal to 2. This purple line is for y equal to 2x, and this green line is for y is equal to x. In the next step, I have highlighted the common region, the common region, which is shaded as yellow. After plotting the region, next step is of integration. We have to integrate f of x, y, x over y over this particular region in the first quadrant, which is a quadrilateral shape. So in order to evaluate this particular function over this region, we have to decide for our inner variable and outer variable. From these limits or from this equation, the choice is very straightforward. We will take x is our outer variable and y is as our inner variable because the limits of x are constant and we always take outer variable with constant limits and limits of inner variable may be constant, may be variable. And in this case, if we take y equal to y is our inner variable, then the limits of y are variable. For inner variable y, we pass an arrow through our region as you can see by this dotted red arrow. This red arrow enters our region from the boundary y equal to it and it exits our region from the boundary y is equal to 2x. So the limits of y are x to 2x. Whenever y is your inner variable, you will pass an arrow. You will pass an arrow from your region from bottom to top. So the boundary through which these arrows enter will provide you the lower limit and the boundary through which this arrow exit will provide you the upper limit. So here we have the limits of y as x to 2x. For outer variable, we will see the range of our variable. For this particular region, we move from left to right and the starting value is x equal to 1 for this region and the ending value is 2 for this region. So left to right, our lower limit will be x equal to 1 and upper limit will be x equal to 2. So after creating this integral, next step is the solution with respect to y x is constant and in double integral we always solve inner integral first and then we will apply the outer integral on the results of inner integral. With respect to y x is constant so we can take it outside and we will integrate 1 over y 
integration of 1 over y is natural log of y. Limits are x to 2x. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus for the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. So for this, we have replaced y with 2x and minus y with x. So we have natural log of 2x minus x. For the simplification, I have applied the property of natural log. Natural log of a minus b is equal to natural log of a over b. So from this property, I get natural log of 2x over x. x and x will be cancelled out. So we have natural log of 2. Natural log of 2 is constant. We can take it outside and we are left with the integration of x. Integration of x is straightforward, x squared over 2. In the next step, we will apply the limits. And after applying the limits with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, I will get my answer as 3 by 2 natural log of 2. Thank you so much for watching this video.